What's up everyone, it's your boy Rad 89 here bringing you another video for today's video. It's going to be a physical media one as today we are going to be going over some music though as I got a couple new vinyls that I added to the collection so today you're going to hear my thoughts and my opinions on this and this is going to be really fun because this is actually two vinyls by the same band and this is one of my all time favorite bands. This band is in my top 10 so I hope you all enjoy this video so let's get down to this. Roll it. <laughs> Instead, we have two vinyls to discuss today, and let's start off with this one right here. And like I said, this is one of my all-time favorite bands, and this is Allison Chain's Dirt. And this is a fantastic, fantastic record. In terms of this record, when I talk to music enthusiasts or rock fans or Allison Chain's fans, seventy percent of the seventy percent of the time, I want to say this is the most popular answer for the favorite record and basically because i think when it comes to singles this is the most commercial most radio played record out of all of allison chain's records which is not to knock this record or anything like i said this is a really good record with some solid songs on it so let's discuss it and talk about the songs on here so side a we have them bones damn that river rain when i die down in a hole sick man rooster Junkhead, Dirt, Godsmack, sorry, that was side C. Side B was Down in the Hole, Sick Man, and Rooster. <laughs> side D is Hate to Feel, Angry Chair, and Wood. So, like I said, really a whole host of fantastic songs. And add to that, we have a fantastic vocalist, Lane Staley, is one of my all-time favorite vocalists in history. So, let's unbox this bad boy. Show off the back piece. Show off your front piece right there. I love the colorization of this one. Maybe it's because I'm from New Mexico and you know all that kind of stuff. New Mexico, like I said, dirt, all that stuff. We're really fancy known for that because we're a desert. So the colorization really speaks to me. And the record color is the same. So I'm just going to show off one record. The record colors are the same. They're very bright, like kind of cherry red right there. Hope you can get that in there. And that, that's like I said, in terms of the album... This one, like I said, has a whole host of good songs, and my favorite songs, if we were to talk about them real quick, I would say Wood is definitely one of my favorite songs. I love Dirt, the self-titled song is another great one, and Them Bones. Those are probably my three favorite songs. Rooster is another fantastic song too, but I think it gets overplayed a bit. It's one of their most popular played songs on the radio. It's in so many different movies a ton a ton of times so i think that that's the only reason i don't hate the song but it's definitely one of their most overplayed overused songs now next up we have pull this baby out jar of flies right here and i this one is very exciting to talk about this is the second acoustic studio album by allison chains and one of my top favorites one day when i collect all the vinyl records we'll go through and you know rank all the allison chains albums but this one i'm letting you know right now spoiler alert it's going to be very high up there i really enjoy this record in terms of albums i want to say Allison Chains, this is their most melodic, most symphony, you know, just complete album in terms of the way it feels, the theme. Even though this album's only seven songs, it just flows very well. And I think all the songs have a very strong, like I said, melodic theme to them. There's harmonicas in here. There's, you know, very good acoustic sounds. And I believe, I think there's violins as well. There's even a song on here that has some violins in it. So really, really a creative album. In terms of the songs, let's talk about it. Side one, we have Rotten Apple, Nutshell, I Stay Away, and No Excuses. Side two, we have Whale and Wasp, Don't Follow, and Swing on This, which Swing on This is one of those songs. If you haven't heard, listen to that song because it's so unlike any other Alice in Chains song that I've ever heard or that anyone will ever hear. I know most people are used to a lot of their other songs, like I said, like Rooster, Them Bones, and stuff like that, Angry Chair, you know, all those kind of songs, like Grind. Those are very popular, well-listened to Alice in Chains song, and Swing on This is a complete opposite. <laughs> now let's open this bad boy up, show up the inside. I love this like orange color slip sleeve, protective sleeve and stuff. And this one is just kind of the standard black, you know what I mean, in terms of the vinyl record. 
just one of those standard black ones. But yeah, like this acoustic record right here, Jar of Flies, just sticks so close to home for me. You know what I mean? Like in off the top of my head right now, Alice in Chains, the self-titled album, and Jar of Flies are probably my two that I listen to the most. But that's not to knock a dirt. Like that's really not to knock this album at all because in terms of bands like i said alice in chains is in my top 10 bands of all time and this is one of those bands that when i talk to fans of alice in chains no matter which record they have at the top i could kind of agree with them no matter what because like i i could understand an argument for any record because that's how potent that's how good their music is that's how good the vocals are and the guitar and everything like I said lane staley doing the vocals and the guitar iconic then we have jerry cantrell also vocals and guitar then we have you know nick star on bass and sean kinney and all of them really is just like said make up this iconic band that really got me through high school you know late middle school but more through high school allison chains is one of those bands i got through high school and when i in terms of uh grunge rock in terms of grunge rock and you know metal this is, you know, my key, key grunge band. This is the band that I think is number one. I listen to them more than Nirvana. And if it was, you know, gun to my head, somebody was like, who are the king of grunge rock? I would say Alice in Chains. To me, in my opinion, they are the kings of grunge rock. I hope you all enjoyed this video going over these awesome new vinyls that I added to the collection. Please let me know down below in the comments section what do you think of Alice in Chains and what is your favorite album by them. I would love to discuss with you, but please let me know also, like I said, what other videos are you excited for this month and coming up because, like I said, I got my Universal Monster videos coming up and we also got some more collection videos and also some more unboxings. So what are the videos that you also enjoy the most? That's something else I I would like to discuss with you down below but please like the video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime i post a video but most importantly you all know what's up have a safe and happy day peace out